These are the detail kits. The one that I'm gonna work on today is gonna to be the stern plating. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. It looks straightforward. Just kinda of like scratch the whole back. Let's go ahead and explore the instructions before we start laying this out. Here are the mini brass instructions for the stern plating and hall details. The detail kit that I purchased simply has stern plating. Uh, you can download this PDF file off the mini brass website and I'll go ahead and throw the link down below. As I scroll down here, this has some instructions and it has some tips and tricks but I'm going to be using mostly my method and I'll show you what that is. So I'm going to skip all the hull details and the most important part of this stern is plating system. So the plating system is what you really need to understand. Now these red circles that you see here are the most important part of getting this assembled. And what they're going to indicate is where the next plate aligns. So the edge of the plate is going to go on the hole and the bases will line up, you know, with each other, so on and so forth. The other good thing about the holes is they tell you which plate goes in the bottom. The engraved marking circle in red will help you see how far the following outer plate should overlap. The plate should just about cover the marking. Now that you know how these plates work, the next part that's really important will be the order of the plates. In any rate, um, I'm going to take a whole different approach to this and I'll go ahead and share that with everyone. So let's go ahead and get started. I laid down some adhesive. I'm going to lay down this first plate, which is A2, and I'm going to follow with this plate. You don't have to push down on it, it sticks pretty good to the adhesive that's there. I'm going to go and take part E15, which is this part, and I'm going to follow their instructions and get it on the hole. So it appears that that would be flush right there. Follow this hole and that hole. Now, as you can see, this is just a little off. Once I get it perfect, then I'll push it down on the tape. The next one, again, we're going to go follow those little holes. And this is going to be A2 on the left side. So there it goes. It's underneath. Making sure we didn't move the left side. Pull it out till we see the holes. And we'll line it back up. This tape is pretty tacky, so. So like everything with the Titanic, it's not a walk in the park. Kind of like push it in there. That looks pretty straight. Then we take this A1 part, which goes on top of the A2s and under the A15. At this stage is once you super glue this piece together if you're not comfortable with it 
you could always run a little small torch and burn the glue right off. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and follow through with a couple more pieces. I think we're going to have a good head start. Is the start of your hall plating. I got a brand new tube of super glue with a new tip. Let's start with the big piece first. See how this glue applies here. Actually, that's pretty good. So just go down. And you can go ahead and wipe it. I don't even see the glue at this point. But it's definitely in there. There you go. And see what we have. This is what the back of it looks like. Oh yeah, this is gonna come out really good. I'm gonna go and see what it looks like on the stern. This is what it looks like, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna glue this right away. I just want to see how it fits, and that fits beautifully right there. We push it down, and who knows? But that said, we're ready to move forward. So we're gonna add a few more pieces because I want it to get to the top of that line that's on the stern. To get a good measurement now because you see I grinded all the extra pieces out of there and I just they could have made it a lot easier to remove these pieces it looks like it's gonna go right there That was a good call to put those little holes in there. Oh yeah. We're ready to glue this piece in. Okay, so we'll just rub off as much of the glue as we can. To remove the, act, the glue from the brass, we use this lacquer thinner. It works perfect. Just keep rubbing and rubbing. It softens the glue on the top of the brass and then literally removes it. Now I have found some glue when it dried for a long time, like heavy drop, you may have to just scrape that off with the razor. But for the most part, 95% of the glue comes right off. That's why I rub it to make it super thin and the lacquer pulls it right off. So we're gonna attach this piece to the stern right now we're going to use a little bit of epoxy and some super glue. Here we go. We went on ahead and stuck this down. I put a bead of super glue right down the center and then some epoxy on the sides because this is the most stressful part of the stern. You definitely want to clamp this down and let it sit for a day or so. Go ahead and uh, finish up the rest of the pieces there. For the most part, they came out nice. There are some plates that I don't like the way they lay down. There are some other plates that I noticed 
that are misaligned. I'll go ahead and be removing those at the end once I get everything done and take a look at it again. But what I want to work on now is the top portion. So I'm going to lay it down just like I did the other ones. I'm going to lay it down on the paper and prefab it and get it all set up so we can go ahead and put it in there. I just find this method a little better for me because things lay down nice and flat and when you put them in you just lay them down like you would a sheet itself. So we're going to align it right here, get it nice and perfect. We're going to go ahead and finish them all up this way. Once we get it done, we'll go ahead and apply some more super glue. Like I said, you can get messy on it. It doesn't really matter what you're looking for, that it sucks in the way it is. So you remove most of it and the locker should remove the rest of that leftover super glue that's on there. I was going to show you how I installed this here, but once again, I forgot to hit the record button. In any rate, all I did was use some super glue to get all this together. I drew a center line and measured the line that was on here where they joined and I was able to lay it in there perfectly. The super glue is not going to come off, believe me. I got a couple pieces on this side that I got stuck. I, I finally ripped them off and over here I had some issues and I was able to redo them, but it took almost hell to get these pieces off. So those pieces way down there are the additional optional pieces, the last two pieces down there, and these three are the other optional pieces. So you notice where the top portion joins the bottom portion, we lost that lip because the sheets are really thick. So I decided to put a 22 gauge wire right in between the two pieces. As you can see, I start it from the start point all the way to the other side where it ends. It looked pretty good. The 22 gauge fit perfectly right here.